In today's video, I'll show you how to create your own talking AI avatar just like me. With 3D Pixar style like this, or Blee Studio, or any style of your choice. You've probably seen those viral talking avatars and thought, that must take forever to make. But what if I told you there's a tool that does it all? Animate your avatar lip sync without needing a single prompt. But what if your AI avatar could do so much more? Picture this, an avatar that doesn't just talk, but actually gets up, moves around and walks with the smooth, lifelike motion of a real person. It's not just a voice, not just a face, it's a living, breathing, digital presence. So in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to build your own talking AI avatar, add emotions, and make your avatar sound human. So stay tuned, and let's get started. If you want to create an avatar from scratch, just head over to ChatGPT. This is where we'll build our AI avatar, and yes, you can use a free account. What we're looking for is something called a consistent character to find it. Click Explore GPTs, then type consistent character into the search bar. When it pops up, click on it. The cool part? It uses DALI to generate images for your avatar. Next, click the button that says click here. You'll be asked to choose a gender for your avatar, male or female. Pick one to get started. We're going to choose male for this example. Remember, this is your creative process, so feel free to pick whatever you like. I'm going with male. Next, it'll ask you for a name. I'm choosing Captain AI. I just like the sound of it. Then you'll be asked to add some characteristics. Here's where you describe your avatar's personality and style. He looks adorable, but now we need to give him a background. Scroll back down to the search bar and type, sitting at a wooden desk, facing the camera as if in a YouTube video, smiling confidently with hands clasped on the desk. Then click send. It'll generate a photo of him in that scene. I love how it looks right away. You can click regenerate if you want a different version, but I'm happy with this one. Now click on his picture, then hit save. One more thing, we need the image to be in 16, 9 size, perfect for YouTube. So go to Google, type free expand image AI, and click on the first result. Sign into the website, choose your image, then click on the image. After that, click Expand. Next, go to Aspect Ratio and select 16, 9. Finally, click Generate. And this is the result. He looks great. So, in my case, I simply uploaded my profile image and used a simple prompt. If you want to create an avatar from your personal photo, this is an easy way to do it. Then I expanded the image using Photoshop. And that's my process. Create a new image at a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Bring your character into that new image. Adjust the size. Now let's fill the sides by selecting them using the rectangular tool. Select the left side, then click Shift and select the right side. Now hit Generate Fill and then leave it empty and click Generate. Choose which one you like the most and feel realistic. Now let's merge our character with the AI image we just generated by clicking on the layer and clicking Ctrl plus E. And I'm going to remove the microphone now simply by selecting it and using the Photoshop AI tool to remove it. This time we will write Remove Microphone and hit Generate. Let's merge this layer also by clicking Ctrl E again. Now I'll just duplicate it so I can have the original saved and play a little bit with the coloring using Camera Raw Filter. So go ahead and try these settings until you can have a better and clearer picture of your avatar.
And that's it. Now our avatar looks much better. Let's explore Hedra's lip sync feature and choose a video. Make sure you select Hedra character 3. Note that Hedra only accepts images as input. Videos won't work. So let's pick an image to continue. There are three ways to add audio. We can create it, record it, or upload a file. Let's start by generating the audio. Come over to 11 Labs now. You'll learn how to make AI speak with emotions. It's super easy. First, pick a voice that fits your content. This is important. You can generate a voice from the custom voice lab page or choose one from the voice library. Next, paste in your script. I added my intro. When you add your text, read it in your head and add commas, periods, question marks, and exclamation marks where needed. Put words you want to emphasize in uppercase. This helps the AI deliver the right pauses, emotion, and emphasize. It's not ready yet. We need to make it sound more human. Go to settings and set stability between 4550. Set similarity between 7080. Stability around 50 keeps the voice steady and natural, not robotic or too expressive. Similarity near 75 ensures the voice matches the sample without copying every background noise. Play with them a bit. Find what feels right for your content. Then go back to Hedra AI, download the audio, click Add to Video, and then click Generate. In today's video, I'll show you how to create your own talking AI avatar just like me, with 3D Pixar style like this or Ghibli Studio, or any style of your choice. I'm really impressed with the result. Just an avatar and a voice recording were enough to create something that feels so alive. Now imagine if your AI avatar could do more than just talk. What if it could stand up, move around, and walk naturally, just like a real person? That's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do right now. In this step, we'll use Kling AI to animate the avatar so that it talks, stands up, and walks while speaking. Click Upload Image, then use the right animation prompt. Static shot of a man talking, looking straight into the camera, and demonstrating with his hands gently. His facial expressions change naturally to match speech, and his eye contact remains steady. The movement is smooth and lifelike. This ensures that the avatar appears natural and avoids looking too robotic. To prevent unnatural facial movements, weird eye shifts, or stiff gestures, add a negative prompt. Watch the generated animation and check for any weird glitches or unnatural movements. If the animation looks off, tweak the prompt and regenerate. Once you're satisfied, download the video and move on to the next step. Go to the Video Frame Extractor. I'll explain why we're using it in a moment. Click on Select Video, then choose your video file. What we want to do is extract the last frame from this video. This is just so we can put the frame back into Kling AI to help create smooth and consistent transition clips. Now, go to the end of the video, leave the settings as they are, and click Extract. It will start pulling out different frames from the video. Wait for it to finish. What you need is the last frame. Once you see it, click the Download button to save it to your computer. After that, go back to Kling AI. Now, here's what to do. Replace the starting image with the last frame you just downloaded. Click here to delete the old one, then click here to upload the new frame. Once it's uploaded, go to the Modify section. In this step, we're going to use this as a prompt. Once the video is ready and you're happy with it, download it. Then, use the Video Frame Extractor again to get the last frame. You'll keep repeating this process, downloading the video, extracting the last frame, and starting a new one until you have all the clips you need.
Watch the animation and make sure the walking looks smooth and natural. If it feels stiff or awkward, adjust the prompt and try again. Once it looks just right, download the final clip. Now you've got all three animations ready. Here's the next step. Give your animation a voice that feels real and fits perfectly. Go to Kling AI and open the Lip Sync tool. Upload the matching voiceover for this clip. Adjust the timing so the lip movements match the words just right. Click Generate to let Kling sync the voice with the animation. Watch the preview carefully. Look out for any parts where the lips don't match the words or the timing feels off. Do the same for the standing and walking clips. If it doesn't look right, try using a different website like Pixverse AI to fix the lip sync. Now that we've got our animated AI avatar clips with voiceover synced, it's time to put everything together and turn it into a smooth, polished video. To do this, we'll use video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, CapCut, or Final Cut Pro. You can choose and import your animation clips. Drag and drop your three AI-generated animation clips into the timeline. Now make sure they flow nicely from one to the next. No awkward jumps or sudden stops. Watch each clip closely and trim out any weird pauses or moments where the avatar freezes. Adjust the start and end of each clip so the transitions feel smooth and natural. Add smooth fade in and fade out effects between each clip to keep things looking clean. Use a crossfade transition between the sitting and standing clips to make the movement feel more natural. Once it all looks great, you're ready to export the final video. Congratulations! You've just learned how to create, animate, and voice sync an AI avatar that talks, stands up, and walks while speaking. By following these simple steps, you turned a static AI image into a lively, engaging video character. Perfect for YouTube, presentations, marketing, or storytelling. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more AI insights. See you next time.